What is up guys, Derek with Divine back here on another cool home theater project. So today I'll be installing Martin Logan Motion 40i's and a 50 XTI center channel. I'm powering this bad boy 2080 Yamaha receiver and we'll be bi-amping the 40i's so we can send them uh, about 280 watts total, like 140 watts to the tweeter, 140 watts to the drivers. Got another cool thing that we're doing on this guy. We are uh, custom building a flat screen, probably about 138 inch. So I'm doing a custom build flat screen and then this is going to be the half inch border on it. So yeah, I got this aluminum that I'm going to go ahead and paint right now. So I'll walk you through that. Not necessarily walk you through, but <laughs> go ahead and show you guys that. And um, yeah, I'm going to be painting a gloss black finish. And then I'm going to go over that with a matte clear coat. And the reason I'm going with that dead flat clear coat right there is so um, it'll still have that high gloss shine but it'll be a little flattened out so it doesn't reflect in the room. Uh, the towers are gonna be doing that enough, so I wanna take, draw attention off of that border, but when you get close, it's still gonna have that beautiful uh, gloss finish to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this garage right here. Uh, let these guys dry out. And then I'm gonna come back, hit them with one more top coat. So I'll hit those guys with one more top coat of the gloss black. And then I'll come back about an hour later and I'm gonna hit them with that matte clear coat. All right guys, let's go check in on Benny and Cody and see what the theater looks like. <laughs> all right all right guys so yeah they're, they're getting that sensor done so they can operate that thing cody's uh doing the soldering on this end next we're gonna go ahead and pop this box out they got their speaker wires run they have two sets of 14 gauge one for the tweeter obviously and then one for the drivers so we'll get into hooking that up in a little bit all right guys there's cody he is uh, shooting up a fish line so benny can find him in the attic and they're gonna place some studs up there and screw that projector down. So yeah, we're doing the Epson 3800. Um, what I'm working on is I'm moving these rears inwards. I want these guys to sit right here and not where they originally had them. Um, again, uh, client was okay with it, but I hate the symmetry. It's a little bit extra work, but I'm gonna cut that speaker out and extend that line. Or not even extend it, just pull it out and pull it over. Divine difference right there. <sighs> They already got the overheads in. They also moved those back. That location was not right, so we're gonna just paint that plank. Then he had them moved back and in, and then evened them out in the room. And then, yeah. You're good. All right, guys, here's our Martin Logan 40i. Cody's hooking up the other one right now. I'm gonna leave it in the packaging to preserve it, so I'll show you guys the finish later, but I'm gonna open this up so I can access the terminals. That's the wrong hole. All right, here we go. Yeah, here, guys, here's your terminals. You got two different sets, so you got your tweet on the top and your woofers on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these so it can bypass the crossover. So take those guys out, it's gonna bypass the crossover. Then we're gonna send one set of our 14 gauge up to the top, one set to the bottom. This is gonna give us twice the power to the speaker. Um, I am running these on 14 gauge wire, which they're only about eight foot runs on each side. So 14 gauge is more than sufficient. There's no reason to do 12. The only reason to do 12 gauge is if you're going over like 25 feet, over 20 feet that, that uh, wire will get heated up and won't uh, carry the signal as far. 
so. But in this case, you can play these all day long with this 14 gauge wire. It's 100% copper and uh, oxygen free cable. Yep, yeah, hook these up and then we'll hook it up to the receiver next. guys and here they are the martin logan motion 40 eyes got the dynamo 800x subwoofer got your uh, 50 xti martin logan center channel Just beautiful finish by amp and there's your custom flat screen that my guys built yesterday they and cody killed it i think it's beautiful the only thing we have left to do on this is put that little gloss black border right over the edge. This ring looks fantastic. All right, and what I'm doing today, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook this Xbox up so I'll configure his Xbox One S and uh, go ahead and get the tuning done. Look at those beautiful rear speakers. What I gotta do is paint that plate right there. He didn't wanna patch it right now, so I'm gonna paint that plate, paint the overhead plates. It's gonna look gorgeous. Look at those beautiful FX2s, those Martin Logan FX2s. These look fantastic. I need to get crazy. All right. Yeah, I'm going to get into the tuning. I'm letting that final coat dry on that border. So Warren's going to come back tomorrow, place the border, and then do the final tune on it. And then we'll be all done. Stick around. All right, guys, check these out. Look how these came out. They're beautiful. They still have that little bit of gloss finish to them. But uh, that gloss undertone, but it's got that flat, a uh, hard flat matte clear coat over the top so they just came out so amazing so yeah Warren's gonna trim those down right now and then we're gonna use some 3M adhesive some uh, car adhesive actually to stick it to the screen let's get it done all right guys we got our uh, metal saw set up here There's Warren right there he's about to start chopping this bad boy we'll get upstairs and pop that on the screen uh, he also almost knocked my railings over he also got a uh, got all his seating in so I did the tune the other day but uh, Warren's gonna perfect that tune now that the seating's there because it's gonna affect the room a little bit since it is uh, you know acoustic wise it's gonna fill up that room a little better now that it has the seating in there hey guys Warren Divine AV all right, so I'm going to show you how this project turned out. Absolutely amazing. The client is absolutely thrilled as always. Let's get into it. Look at that thing, guys. Boom. The Divine Audio Visual gray. This is a 0.9 gray screen, and it actually has a metal border on it. So you see that half inch metal border. It's a gloss black border with a matte clear coat. This is a flat screen, custom unit. came out great. Client's going to get all these face plates painted. We went for the Motion 40 Eyes by Martin Logan. Fantastic speaker. Stay tuned to our channel here. We're going to be doing some reviews on those. The 50 XTI Beast of a Center Channel. We got the Dynamo 800X. This is a down firing subwoofer. Fantastic. It's very punchy. The Martin Logan FX2 speaker, we moved it from its original position to this position here for symmetry and to get it away from that wall a little bit. Martin Logan FX2 for your surround right. All right. Overhead, we got the IC6s. And ceiling flush mount speakers. Epson 3800 for projection. Guys ran that cable through the Smurf tube on the top. 
Got these uh, moved from the original position to this position here. A little bit better Atmos experience. That helps with the sound objects. So these are in the proper position now. You can see them kind of right in between the two rows of seating there. So excellent job. That was uh, Benny actually took that upon himself to get those moved to the proper position. So good job, Benny. All right. Yeah, the team did a great job on this project. That was Benny, Cody, Derek, Mercedes assisting. So it came out great. Look at that. So we've got the stand there. And there we've got the Yamaha RXA-2080. And it is biamped. So these guys ran two sets of wires to each speaker there. Biamping the speakers. Removing the terminals on the back. The jumper terminal, terminals. See that? So you actually have two 14 gauge wires. And full biamp. Excellent job, guys. Um, really amazing system, and it sounds killer. So let's go ahead and get into a demonstration now. Check it out. All right, so we're going to get into a Dolby Atmos demonstration here. This is a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system. So you've got three speakers in the front, two speakers on the rear there, two speakers overhead, and a single subwoofer. We are using an Xbox One S. It is in bitstream mode. So we are passing Dolby Atmos to the receiver. Uh, Xbox is pretty cool because it actually has this app called Dolby Access. And you can access, uh, these are semi-compressed trailers, but they're actually pretty good quality. So let's go ahead and get into this here and we'll show you guys a little demonstration. I think we'll do a maze on this one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This project was really fun. Um, I got a chance to get over here and do that border, so it was good to, good to get back on the screens. If you guys are not a subscriber, please smash that subscribe button. Uh, it helps people find us in the algorithm. Channel's growing. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and the Tech with the Tech episodes where we bring new products to you guys uh, from an actual audiovisual technician. 